Open your eyes for me. I want you to focus on the spot, the line in my hand. As you focus on the spot, the line in my hand, as my hand moves slowly closer to your forehead, as you feel me squeeze your hand periodically, as my hand moves closer and closer to your forehead, your eyes will begin to get heavier and heavier, heavier and heavier. Sleep all the way down, drifting, floating, floating and drifting. Each and every time I suggest the word sleep, you're gonna allow yourself to go quickly, calmly, and deeply into a state of relaxation or even deeper. Any other sound that you hear other than my voice will only help you to focus on my voice. I'm gonna count down from five to zero and when I reach number zero, your eyes will be wide awake. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero, eyes wide awake, focus right here, focus, sleep all the way down, drifting, floating, floating and drifting. And as those elevator doors open, you're going to step out into a different time, a different era, a different place, a different body, one that your soul needs the most healing from. And when you are out of those elevator doors, let me know by saying the words, yes. I want you to... Get a sense and a feel of your body in that lifetime. Take note if you are male or female. Take note of your body type, your body size, the color of your skin, and the clothing that you are wearing. And tell me, are you male or female? Uh. Male. What is the color of your skin? Uh. Black. Your body type? tall and the clothing that you are wearing in this very moment in time repeat that for me a suit what color is that suit black in a few moments when I snap my fingers you're going to have the equivalent of a mirror to check out your facial features the color of your eyes the texture of your hair, the length of your hair. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I want you to hold that mirror up to your face and check out your facial features. And tell me, what are the color of your eyes? Brown. What's the color of your hair? Dark brown. And the texture of your hair. Wavy. Wavy. And the length of your hair? Mm. A haircut. When I touch your forehead, you're going to know the answers to all of my questions. Because your soul knows everything. You're going to trust the information that is coming directly to your subconscious mind when I touch your forehead. Now. And tell me, what is your name? Shannon. Shannon. How old are you, Shannon? Fourteen. Thirty-two. What year is it? Nineteen sixty. And tell me, where do you live in the world, Shannon? Another country. Another country. What's the name of that country? Africa. Africa. When I touch your heart, every emotion that you felt in that lifetime, you're going to feel as though you are feeling those emotions right now. When I touch your heart now. There is a reason why your soul brought you to this lifetime, Ms. Shannon. Something happened that you need healing from. We're going to forward you to that moment in five, four, three, two, one, zero. And I want you to tell me what's happening. Right. Who's arguing? Right. 
What are you arguing about? Why? Why is she mad at you? Oh. You hurt her. Oh. Tell me what's happening. What's going on? I'm sorry. You're not sorry? I'm sorry. You are sorry. What happened? What did you do? I cheated. You cheated. So what happens after the argument? Why does your soul bring you to this very moment in time? What happened? Who tried to kill you? Your wife tried to kill you? Wow. What's happening? How does she try to kill you? With a knife. Do you get away? No. <gasps> so does your wife stab you in the chest? Wow. So your wife stabs you in your chest. Do you die? What's happening? No, you didn't die. She left you. She just left you there alone. How does that make you feel? Why? Repeat that for me. Why? You feel betrayed, huh? Yeah. So she just left you there to die. Yeah. But you survived? Repeat that for me. You're screaming for help. Did anyone come to help you? No. No. We're going to forge you to your death in that lifetime. We're going to be there one minute before your death. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And tell me, how did you die? How did you die? What's happening? Talk to me. He got shot. You got shot by whom? Trying to rob me. They trying to rob you. <laughs> I want you to take a look at those people that are trying to rob you. How many people are there? <laughs> Two. Two. Take a look at those two people and tell me, do you recognize those two people in this lifetime? Your brother? What about the other person? Do you recognize the other person? Okay. Wow. 
so they're trying to rob you and they shoot you. Where did they shoot you? <laughs> Where? In my head. In your head. <laughs> We're going to heal that wound as well. I want you to repeat after me any experience. Any experience. In that lifetime. In that lifetime. When it comes to being shot. When it comes to being shot. I release into the universe now. I release into the universe. It would no longer affect me. No. I would no longer carry those baggages. No carry those baggages. And so it is. When I touch your heart, you're going to release those emotions that you felt in that lifetime now and I want you to take that journey that all souls make into spirit world